All right, here's another quick video on this uh, little motor that I put together for Magnet Man 2010. Um, it's this complementary transistor circuit running on a AA battery, and uh, this is a monopole, which is what I started working on uh, years and years ago was a Bedini SSG monopole, and this is a um, a monopole uh, electronic pulse motor and of course the Bedini guys uh, formed all these groups called the monopole groups and I'm not sure where John uh, started out with uh, the monopole but uh, this is in his realm uh, a lot of the famous stuff uh, working with the Bedini SSG were the monopoles which which means it has one pole facing out on the rotor and it can be all different numbers of magnets but uh, the, these groups that formed on different um, forums are called monopole groups and they all dealt with uh, all the John's different circuits dealing with these monopoles and of course he did all kinds of motors uh, different poles and stuff but um, I wanted to look at this on the scope and there's that H pattern it's a sloppy one very very sloppy because there's a not good turning on and turning off of the transistor but uh, the tall spike going on here is this inductive kickback that John took that and redirected it into a secondary battery and charged that up with this piece of the puzzle that normally was grounded in the old days they took this thing and they grounded it well he decided well I'll take that thing there and I'll put it to use I'll shove it into a battery and, and charge something up with it and there's a lot of controversy about what that's all about but this is what it looks like and uh, this is supposed to be a pure H pattern here where the on time and the off time happens on my circuit here this silly little circuit here uh, it's very sloppy the uh, triggering on and off is uh, very sloppy because there's no hard turning on and off of the drive transistor. Now John put a diode in here to shut this on and off abruptly on his SSG circuit which makes this a very clean on off scenario. But anyway this is what uh, my little motor thing here looks like on the scope and this is the unit that I'm using for this on my computer. It's a hand tech uh, DSO 2090 USB uh, computer oscilloscope and it for what I want to do which is just look at this stuff it's good enough for me now it does have the uh, mathematic functions on it including a spectrum analyzer that I can look at the uh, different spectrums uh, on these different little circuits but I just did want to show this to the the guys that study this stuff that uh, this little uh, silly little thing that I built here that I called the monopole rotor simple single wire coil electronic motor um, acts a lot like an SSG as far as the way the wave looks and all it is is it's a um, jar lid on a needle with a ferrite core which is like with John's SSG's they have the um, welding rod uh, core that doesn't retain magnetism the ferrite core does the same thing it won't retain the magnetism but it has a real good uh, characteristics and then the magnet uh, is four rotors and it starts up just like an SSG where you spin it around but instead of being a bifiler coil it's a single wire it's just one wire and as the uh, rotor goes by there it induces a, a current backwards in the circuit which triggers this thing let me just stop and see if I can get it to go again there it goes the camera frame rate on this is such that uh, when I showed the last video outside it was all blurry and everything but that's the way it normally looks when it's running it runs pretty darn fast and Magnet Man 2010 is the one that um, encouraged me to try this and I thought I would share that waveform with the guys that uh, study the uh, monopoles and uh, 
it's real interesting uh, what's going on there and like I say you can get real deep into this and some of the guys that are working on these projects right now are working with what comes out of the mathematical function on a scope versus what you actually see down here with meters and especially when you're looking at a bulb and this this one here is an LED bulb that I've got right here and what they're doing is they're looking at power coming into a pulse circuit through different angles on this thing and uh, different measuring devices and how this is measured uh, going into a circuit that produces an oscillatory signal. Uh, this happens to be an H pattern but they're looking at sine waves, square waves, all kinds of things and what that thing consumes in the way of power and what's reality and what is a uh, misleading reading using these instruments. So anyway I just thought I would share that with the guys that study the monopoles and how um, this little thing here is acting like a uh, very similar to an SSG only not a very good one. <laughs> Thanks for watching.